this, there's probably one, one missing one, I think. I've already done the, this. Uh, the Slug A. That's another one that we haven't done. So Slug A, ship number 22. All right. Depending on how fast the runs go... Uh, we can do two runs today, but they, they have to go pretty quick. And they, they never go quick. So, sorry, ahead of time. Because we're, we're doing a mixed drink stream tonight, remember? So I gotta take off and go get that set up. I'm gonna have dinner before we do the mixed drink stream. And then, uh, and then we'll do it. So it'll probably be, if I had to guess, around like 8 p.m. Or something. 8 or 9. But... We've done the stealth B. We've done all of the stealth ships already. And we're doing random, so it's like not like we can pick anyway. One thing that pause definitely lets me do is like stop and explain a lot of things. So the slug A is a is a decent ship. I like it. I like the slug C quite a bit, so I'll definitely be I'll definitely be more than happy to run this one. So uh, I guess let's get rocking and a rolling. The anti-bio beam is going to get us crew kills when we otherwise might not be able to get the crew kills. And uh, dual lasers, of course, one of the best weapons of the game. Non-purchasable. And the breach one, also non-purchasable. Also really great support weapon. Let's go. It's a go. So basically, we're going to be using the breach and the dual laser a lot of the time. Uh, to start. And to, and, until we can get it so the enemy ship can't deal us damage. And then we'll switch to the anti-bio beam. We want to get our shields level 2 early on this one. More so than other ships, possibly. Just because that way we can more easily make it so enemy ships can't deal us damage. And then we can get crew kills. And crew kills mean that we're going to get better rewards, probably. And we can get free weapons and crew and augments and all that kind of shit. So... Okay. Oh, I have a value point in weapons. All right. They can't ever repair their weapons anymore, so that's nice. Good luck, good luck on the run. All right. Sounds good. Or, I mean, thank you, Samwise. <laughs> I need to squeeze out some work to be freed up tonight. Sounds good. Get that work done so you can relax later. Definitely want to preserve our bombs whenever we can because there's going to be some fights where we actually want to spam the breach missile a decent amount. Potentially, anyway. I fucking love this music. Like, even after all this time, it's just so great. Nice, great reward. It's so fucking good. So I got eight jumps where I got to go to the exit. So we're just going to kind of move forward, try and find store, try and find distresses, all of those things. Okay, what are you hacking? That's bad. It's very bad if they destroy my uh, shields. Then it's an absolute fucking nightmare, actually. Wow, he's got level two hacking, too. Jesus Christ. Wow, that was very lucky. Alright, maybe he doesn't have level... Yeah, no, let's see, four seconds on the, on the level one hacking? Uh, maybe it's level one. Offline? Question mark. I don't see it. I don't, I don't think I'm offline. Let's see what level this is. Okay, I don't know what level this is. Let's take that out. Yeah, it was a level two hack, for sure. I thought, I thought so. 
fire on my oxygen. That is... Uh, that's kind of shit, unfortunately. There's a fire over here, too. Hope that that doesn't burn down. Nice. Andy's got a value point in shields. The good news is, is I have a breach in their shields, or in their weapons, and they're hacking. Which means that they can't repair those. I'm just gonna do this, because I already have to fire a lot of shots in order to get this ship dead, so. I'm gonna preemptively vent some stuff here. There's a fire in the oxygen yet again, by the way. Okay, sounds good. What's up, Faster? How you doing today? Okay, still looking for distresses. I think I have seven jumps remaining. So I just want to see more beacons. Try and find that store. Is the breach bomb a guaranteed breach or just a high chance? It's guaranteed. I think it says high, but I believe that it is guaranteed. The ship can deal me damage. I might want to man shields here. I think I'm gonna man shields. Just to reduce the chance of us taking damage. Well, that might have made the difference because we have a 10% faster recharge time there, so who knows. You can see how kind of crappy it is when we aren't really wanting to use our breach bomb, like how slow and painful this process is when they have even a single point of shields, so... We definitely would love to get something to improve our weapon setup because it is rough going right now. I think this is going to auto finish auto repairing pretty soon, but I'm going to uh, all right, I'm going to go and fire at this. That means that this is right behind it, so hopefully I can get this shot in on their shields before they get their shields back up. Hopefully, squeeze it in. Right. So that's going to auto repair. Yep, there it is. Scrap, very nice. Still have not seen a store, which is unfortunate. We have six jumps before I need to go to the exit, so I need to decide where we're going to go here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, something like that. And then even if something gets goofed up, there should be a store back here. It's possible that both stores... Uh, I think there's two stores in Sector 1. Maybe there's only one guaranteed, I don't remember. But, uh, but it's possible that all my stores were over here, because I didn't see those beacons, so I just don't know. But... Um, I'm gonna get my shields to level 2 here. We still have scrap to spend at the store, even if, like, we by happenstance jump onto a beacon that turns into a store or whatever. Because we have the Slug Repair Gel and we can sell the Anti-Bio Beam as well. Yeah, so. Oh, shit. I s uh, Alright. Quest marker. Crap. I goofed up. I only have, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, we're okay. I was supposed to jump to this beacon first, or whatever, but as it turns out, even with my stupid mistake, we're still not going to be punished. Because I can go one, two, three, four, five, and then they exit still, so that's fine. So this is a Federation outpost that's under attack, I think. That's what they said. Damn. If we would have had uh, level two sensors or, or long range scanners, I believe we get a blue option there. The ship doesn't even have sensors, so okay. The ship cannot deal me damage, which is great. I go ahead and murder this crewman right away.
trying to get some evasion training. That would be nice anyways. This guy's still not putting out this fire. I think he's just gonna die instantly when I hit him with that. Nice. Mantis, Rockman, or NG. NG is gonna be helping us greatly with repairs, of course, and then also gives us more blue options than either of the other two. If we already had an NG, then we take a Rockman. Here. So that's great. That's like, wow. And we got a free Steven. Uh, the defense drone works quite well on this ship, so I'm definitely interested in getting defense drone. Okay, Bob gets the reward. Nice. This is a very good start to the run. No love for the Mantis. Yeah, the Mantis is a very low priority pick there, for sure. There should be a store here, I hope. Nope, no store. We get no store in Sector 1. Okay, fine. We might get one on the exit, just like crap, just to get lucky. So that means all of our stores were over here. Because I think we started like here, right? We went here, 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 here. So I guess we didn't see that beacon either. So that means that our stores were amongst those four beacons that we never got to see. Unfortunate, but whatever. Okay. Found you at last, prepare to die. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll leave my shields at level two here. Hopefully I can get that missile offline. Okay, there's a hit, that's no problem. Bum, 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 bum. What's up, Assis? What's up, Raida? How you doing today? Streamer saying my nick right, so happy. Uh, cool, I guess. Nice. Very good. Said has cease. That's what I said. Alright, let's keep going. Slug A, huh? This is one of my favorite ships. I love all the slug ships. They are pretty freaking cool. Okay, this ship can't deal me damage either. Ideally, I kill the Mantis. I didn't get him in one swipe, but that's okay. Obviously, I have my oxygen off right now. I want to train. I want to try and dodge this. I need to move my FTL so that I can get out of here in a vaguely timely fashion. Six missiles is a lot of missiles, but I'm gonna get the screw kill, so I don't think I care. I don't know where these fires are. There's a couple there. 
Vent that out. This is the this is the bio beam. Okay, they're both over there. Okay, good. Nice. All right. All right. So we'll wait as long as we can here to allow our oxygen to equalize, and then we'll jump away right before we have to. Yeah, if I wasn't getting the crew kill, I would have probably taken that surrender offer. Because we are using missiles, so like six missiles is a lot, and that's that's useful to us. I'm gonna be using a lot of drones this run, so I definitely would love a lot of them. But I'm gonna sell three. Just cause the early scrap has just gotta be worth it. Okay. Engine controlled is great, and I think that's exactly what we want. But the mantis control is tempting. Quite tempting. Is that chocolate milk? Uh, no, it's a cold brew science, is what it is. Is that chocolate milk I'm having one? No, 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 it's it's a, it's a little bit of milk and, and, co and cold brew coffee. We're gonna get the crew kills on the NG-controlled sector, too. What is cold brew? It's like a coffee that you make not hot. Like, you, you, you grind up grounds and then you soak them in water to get the flavor out of them. And you just do it all cold, and then you just drink it cold. The, the reason that, like, like both of these routes don't have very much different later, but I know that the NG controlled is going to, like, it's, it's going to be pretty great for us. It should be, anyway. Like, and I really, what I need right now is stores, so. Does it give you a hit? What does that mean? Does it give me a hit? The cold brew? Nice store. I want the distress, but I can't take it if I want to go to the store, really. Not without taking a dead beacon afterwards, and I don't think I really want to bother doing that. I have plenty of certain money, so. It's just coffee, yeah. Like, coffee hit, caffeine. Sure, it has caffeine, yeah. Sure. Got to try it out. It's also like one of the things that makes coffee bitter uh, are like the tannins in it, and like when you when you when you brew hot, it like extracts more of those tannin flavors or something like that when you do a hot brew. So if you don't like the bitterness in coffee, you might like cold brew better. I like the bitterness in coffee fine, but I also enjoy cold brew too, so. <laughs> God damn it, Kuno. It's a very normal sized glass. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Okay, another distress. The coffee, the type of coffee that I like are generally speaking, I don't I don't really like light roasted, I like super dark roasted. The I, I just put in another order a couple of days ago to uh, to Happy Mug, which is where I get my coffee from. And I ordered some more of their uh, uh, their dark their French roast, and it's like that's my favorite one that they make. I also ordered some of my other 
favorite that they make, the uh, Sumatra. The Sumatra beans are really, really good too. Billy's vase of coffee. It's pronounced Vaz. We are opposites on our coffee tastes. I much prefer lighter roasts because they're less bitter and have more caffeine. Fair enough. I only have one cup of coffee a day, so like I don't... I don't run on caffeine like I kind of used to. Trying to decide, like... The three systems that I'm probably going to get are going to be hacking, mind control, and drone control. Those are probably going to be what I get. But I don't think that I want to pick up mind control right now. It is good to pick it up. It does make some of my ship fights easier. But in this sector, I should hopefully find a store that has some kind of weapon that I want. And then if I don't, then I'll maybe pick up mind control then. Is it too early to grab mind control? I don't think that it's necessarily too early. It's just that I think that I want to save my money. Like, I do have... I can sell the anti-bio beam, and I can sell the slug repair gel, and I could even sell Steven. I could. But, like, we have the potential to, like... Like, if we could pick up drone control, and, like, even if it doesn't have a defense drone, I already have a defense drone. That's going to be a significant defensive improvement. And if I can just pick up any weapon, then we'll be set offensively for quite a while anyway. So, like, I think I'm going to wait because we should find at least one other store in this sector pretty easily. So I think I'm going to hold off. I think I am going to do that upgrade, though. So we're going to be on our way. I'm going to maybe find a ship that can't deal me damage and then do some evasion training. Oh, okay. Okay. Damn. One, two, three. Yeah, okay. I haven't seen that beacon. We can still make that. Alright, alright. This should this should be fine. I want the distress just because it's probably going to be pretty great. Ooh, nice. If we can get a free weapon here, that'd be great. Yes! Very good. So, it looks like a massive asteroid and this derelict uh, is in a direct collision course with the derelict ship. Direct derelict. You have to pull your crew out, but they want to grab what they can first. Take the weapon and any spare scrap. God damn it, it's a Pegasus missile. Son of a bitch. Okay. If you sell Steven, I unsub. God damn it. Could be a store there. How many jumps do I have until I have to go to the exit? Six. So we can go one, two, three, four. So if there's no store there, then we can go one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, if there's no if there's no store there, maybe I go directly here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Eight scrap and a small bomb. Okay, goddamn. Like, Jesus. Jesus, goddamn. I'm actually gonna use the peg- I'm gonna have the Pegasus. It's a small chance that I actually use the damn thing, so I guess it's fine. So if there's a store in these bottom two right beacons, which is very possible, then it's a little bit annoying, but not like a huge problem. What's up, Q-Hulk? How you doing today? I bet if I run in there, he's going to run to the med bay. No? Fuck you. Okay, fine. Ooh. 
Get stunned, Mantis. Fuel and 20 scrap is gorgeous. Nice. Friggin' gorgeous. Thing. No store here. Wow. So there's gotta be a store on one of these two beacons. I fucking hope, anyway. Okay, well. Yeah. Okay. I think that beacon connects to the exit. If it doesn't, it's gonna be a little bit awkward. Okay. Power up the weapons and prepare to engage the Mantis ship. Not today. Not today. You make me sick. I should have, like, let him... I don't know how I want to go about doing this exactly. I think I'm just going to do the same, same way I did before. Mantis did not die. Wow, crazy. There's a fire in here. He's too low on health. He's too low on health. Good. Fantastic. Alright, so they're dead. Which is nice. I'm kind of thinking about doing a little bit of evasion training here, possibly. Just because this ship can't really do me any, any damage. I hope there's a fucking store up there. There has to be, right? There's two to three stores in an energy controlled sector. We've seen every single beacon in the sector aside from that one. It's gotta be. Just gonna do some weapons training too, I guess. I don't think that the crystals are unbalanced because they don't work well with any, with any other weapon in the game, and they can also be shot down by defense drones. So. Oh, the character. I see. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Like, no, I don't think they need balancing. Absolutely not. Are they powerful? Absolutely they are. 
Does it matter? No, I don't think so. You can't get Crystal Crew except for one in every hundred runs. If you're lucky, one in every thousand runs, unless you're specifically running the Crystal Ships. It's kind of like the point that they're powerful, you know? Yeah, even more difficult to get the, than the Lanius, like, by far. Alright. Okay. Contact the civvies. Nice. Very good. Double reward. Very, very good. We have a lot of scrap, which is really great. I'm gonna upgrade my weapons so I can have the breach on with this anti-bio beam. Or possibly use the Pegasus missile, which might be useful to me. Okay, good. Thank God there's a store here, otherwise I was gonna be confused and angry. <laughs> I'm happy that I didn't take that early... Okay, hull beam. Uh, sure. I'm glad that I didn't take that early, um... Distress before that first store. I think it was very important in this particular sector. Yeah, that's still like finding finding the pod and the research facility after you find the pod. That's like one in like even if, even if you go for it specifically, like you, you can't you can't know like where it is or isn't other than the fact that it's in a distress, right? So it's like it's still like one in fifty runs or something like that, if you're lucky. So we're gonna buy drone control here, and we're gonna use the defense drone as needed. For our missile uh, shooty purposes. And we're also going to buy the hull beam, I believe. You might not even get one or the other. Yep, exactly. Yeah, beating all the A and B ships is much easier, yeah, than, than uh, doing it through the quest. Do they fix it so that you, if you, even if you change the, the guy's name, you can still find the quest? It used to be, they used to, I think they fixed a glitch where you could change the guy's name, any, any crystal's name to that guy, and then he would show you where the quest was in the Rock Home Worlds. But I think I don't wonder if they sold it or I might be able to sell stuff for cloaking. I'm not gonna get cloaking on this run because the defense drone does a pretty good job of defending us from missiles, which is like the most powerful thing that the cloaking does for us. So that's like my plan is to use the defense drone. Ruin exploit patched out. Yeah, but what if you get Ruin and then you rename him? Does it fuck it up? System Repair Drone has, like, a single blue option. So, like, I don't know if it's worth selling it right now. It might- it's- it's probably worth selling it. I can- I, I think I'd be better off selling the Slug Repair Gel. No, that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna buy some fuel. And I think I might just save. Uh, save the system repair drone for to sell at, like the next store or something. We'll keep the anti bio beam just for random crew kills. How am I gonna repair my slugs? That's true. 
Look, my slugs can excrete their own repair gel for themselves, don't worry. It'll be okay. Cloaking is just more versatile. Well, cloaking is is the least versatile system in the game, Red Rabbit Ramp. It does one thing, and one thing only, and it's only defensive. It, it can cloak any number of things, but the drone system in itself is more versatile than cloaking, because you can use a wide variety of drones. I'm not saying that drone control is better than cloaking, because cloaking is more powerful than drone control. Um, in like every defensive way, basically. For the, for the most part, especially when you combine it with hacking, because like level two hacking and then cloaking, you can you can never take damage again for the rest of the game as long as you have drone drone parts. But but regardless, like the, I think the defense drone is gonna do us fine here. Drone control always better than cloaking. Now. Well, this is still a good sector for us. We made a lot of money. I need to re refresh my memory with this event. So this, this, see, I always confuse this event with that refueling station event, and I think that they're similar. The thing that confuses me on this event is that the dialogue is different. There's like three different dialogues that you can get for the abandoned space station, but they're all the same event. So we, we cannot instantly lose crew uh, by moving in to examine the station here. We can get boarded and fight a pirate ship, receive low scrap. If we had a clone bay, we could get a crew. Um, or we could get boarded with anti-ship battery, which is which might deal us damage, but I doubt it. So, all right, I was just double checking. Thanks for liking the retweet, Kuno, and the follow from uh, Lever Leverage. Appreciate it. They changed the quest beacon revealed from Ruin to just successful stasis spot unboxing. Oh, sure. That makes sense. So, sorry, I was just double checking. This is like the worst event we could have gotten, unfortunately, but that's how it goes. sector is good. Mantis controlled sector is also good. Those are both good sectors for us. Um, I think I'm going to go abandoned. We should be able to make a lot more money in an abandoned sector than a mantis controlled sector.
What I meant is cloaking gives defense against lasers as well. Sure. That's true. Fantastic start. Store. You could take uh, three more jumps and go to that store. That sounds pretty good to me. At least two jumps, though. At least two. Let's go. Let's take two. great spot where hopefully the defense drone can really do some work because it can shoot down the hack drone as well as the missile. They do have a finite amount of missiles. They do have two shields, which sucks, but I can't do anything about that. Switch to the anti bio beam after one swipe. Oh, yeah, yeah, his missile's offline, that's fine. I don't know why I fired that early. That was a mistake. I'm gonna need the breach bomb to take that uh, clone bay out, I guess. Scrap, three fuel and a drum and a missile. And we got five hole points repaired as well. Very nice. What's up, Fallen? Welcome, welcome. How you doing today? What's up, Captain Ronald? How goes the battle today? Not too shabby. Not too shabby. How we doing here? Still like to find a ship that can't deal me damage. If we end up not purchasing anything at the store, then... Uh, Christ. Okay. okay. 
He's out of drones, I guess. Okay. Hoping for some invasions here. That would be ideal. Nope. I did avoid the bomb, which is better than nothing, I suppose. They ran out of drones, which is great. Okay, that is not great. Okay. Good dodge. Good dodge, good dodge, good dodge. Nice. Just pausing to see when things are hitting. I'm doing very well, thank you for asking. I should really probably leave that first laser 2 online, I guess. But. Definitely happy that we have Steven. Steven's doing a good job. Let's go to the store while he repairs that. Uh huh. Long range scanners are amazing. I'll purchase that. I could buy the charge too. I'd rather not, I think. It's not like a great thing to get. Hmm. Thanks for the good luck by the good luck by the way, Bishop. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's, uh, like, against three shielded ships, um, if they don't have a value point, we can win, but, uh, other than that, we're gonna, we're already having problems with, like, two shielded ships, right? So that's, that's definitely, definitely gonna be a problem until we can get hacking. So, I could buy it. feel like I'd rather use the chain laser. It is quite aggressively slow, though, but, I mean, I could use it alongside the dual laser certainly a lot better than the charge, too. With the hull beam, anyway. Looks like this would be a three-power weapon that I'd be waiting... 10 seconds to get the second charge, which is like the same here, but it requires a whole nother power, which I could like, I could do it right now, but like five shots, not all that exciting. If I use a chain laser with the dual laser and the hull beam, uh, it's only, I only have to upgrade my power once, and then we can use the whole, we can use those lasers to fire four shots, take down shields, and after the first volley, it's like not so bad, it's still slow, uh, until it fires uh, after the second time though, which sucks. Tough choices. I think I'm gonna buy the chain laser, sell the anti-bio beam. 
little bit annoying, but I can get crew kills with the breach bomb. Like they can help me. So just this is like just in case, because like we might get really like unlucky and like not find a store. And if I if we don't find a store, um. Then we're like in really bad shape. That's great. Yes, please. Absolutely. Okay, another store. I don't. I could sell chain laser plus the system repair. This sells for 32. This sells for 15. 66, 70, uh, 681. So I could buy a burst laser too. Okay. I can also buy hacking. Okay, heavy laser. That's good. That's probably good enough to sell the chain laser and buy that. It's unfortunate that we kind of like threw away that scrap, but I, th I, I think it's okay. I mean, it was, it was uh, something that I think was worth doing. Isn't Flak Two twice as good as Flak One? It's actually fires seven shots, so it's more than twice as good. More than twice as good. It doesn't even require twice as much power either. Just finished my slug A run, one with the anti-bio beam, pike beam, mini beam. You can't you can't find the mini beam. Halberd beam and hacking. There's holes in your story, Gel Zach. It doesn't add up. Things don't add up. Got it from a reward. You can't get it from a reward? What? What's up, Salev? How you doing today? Must be the mods I'm using then, indeed. I mean, and it doesn't, plus it doesn't even have, it doesn't even say that it has an impressive shot like the Burst Laser 3. So it's not even like, it's not, it's not even like you get an impressive barrage after waiting all that time, right? I think I'm going to sell this because I want to, uh, I'm going to be needing to get more power here. So I think I'm going to need the scrap. Steven is fucking crushing it here. It's nice. Hopefully he runs out of missiles before too long. Or runs out of drones, rather. Nice job, Steven! Steven's fucking crushing it out here! Absolutely destroying it! Fuck no, I'm not taking your surrender offer. Get out of here with that. Let's go, Steven. Let's go. Let's go, Steven. Let's go. I knew another Billy that took Flag 2 90% of the times just to spite chant. I think he ended up actually liking it. It's usable in like if you if you have to use it. It, it I mean it, it does its job, which is taking down shields. So if you're it works fine with beam setups if you have to have if you don't have any other good way of taking down shields, like on the Zoltan A or whatever, where you have the halberd and then you have no other way of getting shields down other than that basic missile that you start with. 
And, and if you're if you're in Sector 3 and you haven't found any of your weapons and you see a Flak 2, it's like, well, I guess we're using Flak 2 to take down shields. And I just have to wait extra time after my Halberd's ready to fire. Like, it's just... It's just, uh, still... It's not, like, ideal. But... At least it does its job. One, two, three, four, I guess. It's not really a way for me to take any other series of beacons. Ion pulse. Uh, not exciting. Not exciting, but I think I'm gonna take it. I think our setup is pretty decent for it. Yeah, especially if you fight a drone ship, because then you're just like, Alright, I'm gonna wait 21 seconds to fire this Flak 2, and then- Oh, they didn't even hit. Great. Alright, let's wait another 20 seconds. And then they all miss again, and you're just like, fuck! Like, they hit, but they hit outside their fucking ship. That's- that's where drones really suck. I think we're gonna take the ion pulse. Not excited about it, but we're gonna do it. Ooh, that's terrifying. Uh, I'm gonna take it. Okay, that's fine. Nice. Very good. <laughs> I don't think I can do this. Mm. That's fine. If it had, I want, I'll take surrender drawn parts. I don't think that did the maximum damage, because if it was max damage, it would have done six damage with that swipe. I don't know, I didn't look to see how much damage it did, but I don't think it did six. Might have done six. I don't know. Thanks for the like from uh, Ketamine Taco and Skull the Way. Appreciate the Twitter support. Thanks for helping spread the word of the stream. Help let people know that we do, in fact, exist on our little corner of the internet. Appreciate it. I think we get a blue option for level 2 piloting if we investigate the vessel here, but I don't have level 2 piloting, so I think we're just going to attack this ship. Steven has been, like, destroying it. These guys have hacking in a missile again. It's like the third or fourth ship. We've, we're definitely saving uh, a lot of hull here. Oh, really? Okay. Steven, no! That's like the third time he's targeted my drones. What a dick. Good thing Steven survived that. I would have been upset. Upsetty spaghetti. Alright. Ooh. And two drone parts. You receive a hail from the ship, followed by a crude translation device spurting. Stop, stop, stop. 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 I think I'm gonna take that. I need the drone parts pretty bad. Forgot to say please. Yet again, hacking. Um... It's not a missile, so I'm not gonna 
It's a bomb. It's hanging my weapons, but whatever. Like, possible that we end up regretting not activating Steven there, but I think I'd rather save the drones. Hashtag drone server. That is level three fucking hacking, by the way. Like, what the fuck? Nope. Feel free to hack. Tell them you don't speak Morse code and fire all weapons. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one too, new plan. I don't know what they want, just keep shooting at them. Let's see what happens. Okay, just keep blasting him. All right. Very similar reward to what they offered. A small space station that appears to be abandoned yet again. Okay, this time we got a small scrap reward. Cool. Ooh, slug controlled nebula. Gross. I don't believe it. After a couple of weeks stuck in Ascension 9 with defect, I just won uh, a runic dome. Runic Dome deck Deckle? What? You mean deck, I'm assuming? Uh, but that's awesome, though. Runic Dome, Runic Dodecahedron? Yeah, deck. Okay, I thought deck. Like, this, the Runic Dodecahedron is never exciting. <laughs> So I should get my auction to level two before I take any actual fights. So should I take some jumps before going to the store and get my oxygen up first? I think I'm gonna do that. It's quite the nebula you have there. Be a shame if somebody trampled all over it. It'd be a shame if somebody came in and just fucked everything up real bad. Why the fuck do you have a glaive beam? Yeah, squeeze extra power out of the system. What is this ship? Why? What did I do to deserve this? I didn't do anything to deserve this. Fuck you guys. God damn it. Okay, good thing they have like zero evasion apparently. That's That's very nice of them. Oh my god, I didn't even hit their fucking shields. That sucks. I should get the Breach Bomb online, I guess. I don't know, that sucks though. Yep! Okay. Okay, good. Good. I just need to do- I should have done that in the first place. That's what I should have done. Okay. Woo! Man, that was a little bit, uh, a little bit scary. Not a huge fan of glaive beams in Sector 4 when I only have two shields, which is like most of the time <laughs> on hard mode. I, I don't know what their engines were, but they must have been really low. Thank God. At least it only did three. I can definitely take, like, all these. So, that's my plan. I'm just gonna get as much scrap as I can before I get to that store. We've detected some worrying radiation. Huh! We've detected some worrying radiation coming from your medical unit. Perhaps you should take a look. 
As he signs off, your system shuts off, and their crew teleporters aboard from a, their crew teleports aboard from a nearby station. They don't look like engineers. I don't think you guys are really engineers. Oh, by all means, slide on in to them shields. Oh, wow. You have all kinds of bad things going on on your ship. You know what? I'm not even going to fight you. I'm a pacifist. Nope. I refuse to take part in your slug shenanigans. Have you gotten the pacifist achievement on this file? Probably not. I have before. I probably don't have it on this file, though. Still need to get training in my piloting and engines, so... I guess we'll just have to get it later. We never found a ship. Like, almost all of our early game ships had missiles. Like, I did a file a little while ago where I got all of the normal achievements, but then I didn't get all the ship achievements because a couple of them are kind of stupid. I'm just going to keep training my weapons here. Like, they're going to die from lack of oxygen anyway, so I don't really need to do anything. Forty-one scrapadoo, very nice. Crap a doo. Six hundred scrap. Oh yeah, I don't I don't know. That's not too difficult, I don't think. But I'm a scrap hoarding monster, so I frequently I kind of do that without even like just on a casual run, I just do that pretty regularly. Just for the funsies. What happened to those bombs? They both got goofed up? Wow. Keep 120 scrap for the pre-igniter. Got to, right? Never know. You never know. Oh, wow. You guys are in rough shape over there. Uh, I'm just going to use the breach right now. Just in case. like that's Because the fires can spread through level 2 doors. So. Let's take out any chance of random BS happening. What's up, guys? Oh my god. It was a pirate ship all along. We got jabated. I think manning our weapons is kind of important versus this ship. Now that I look at it, 10, 12, 13, this is a horrifyingly scary ship. Might actually want to turn on Steven here for this. <laughs>
Good. Not good. Okay. You know what? Fuck that guy. Just repair this. Pilot needs to get back in the pilot seat. Pair the dudes, or else I'm gonna have some problems here. I'm gonna do a uh, single point of damage to their weapons here. I'm gonna switch to the breach, try and get a crew kill. Okay. Hey, he left my ship. That's very kind of him. Cool. Got lucky that the fires didn't spread faster. Okay. That repaired. Yeah, that was a terrifying weapon setup for sure. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on over there, but I think we're fine. Not exactly sure what the situation is. I know that Okay, yeah, we're fine. There must be a fire in his weapons or something. I didn't that I didn't wasn't I wasn't paying super close attention. Keep training my weapons here. Cool. Very nice. Very, very nice. Nice. We have 232 scrap going into this Sector 4 store, so I'm very, very happy about that. Uh huh. <gasps> they have a flak. Oh my god. Okay. Everything is awesome. Everything is absolutely fantastic. So that's that's just great. Shit, I could like I could get rid of the pole beam and just use flak dual heavy and something like that. Oh my god, I completely forgot about the flak song. Completely forgot that that existed. Have you ever thought about running non-advanced FTL? Like, turning off advanced edition? I mean, I did that when I first started playing the game, but... I don't th think that there's any reason for me to turn it off. Like, it doesn't make... I don't, I don't see a reason, anyway. Sell the defense drone? Uh, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. A mastered weapons human. Yeah, I don't think so. Definitely gonna buy the flak, obviously. So I gotta get rid of the breach on and use and use flak. Like this this weapon setup, flak, dual laser, heavy laser, hull beam is really great. Um Uh, but like the breach is useful for crew. Maybe I'll just put the whole beam in the cargo for now And I'll just plan on using it later use the breach to get some crew kills that I might not otherwise be able to get uh, Let me double check that there's not a store my next jump. Nope ship fight cool. Okay We don't want to sell the defense drone because it's my only means of not taking damage from missile weapons. And, like, the defense drone is the best drone in the game. 
aside from the hull repair drone. So, absolutely no reason to get rid of it. It's really, really strong. Extremely important. If you'd uh, uh, seen any of the fights up to this point, like stopping hack drones from getting onto us and stopping, like more than 10 points of damage that we would have taken up to this point in the run, the defense drone's been absolutely crushing it and it's more than proved it how useful Steven can be. Yes, yes, we we specifically purchased drone control with the sole reason of use for the sole reason of using the defense drone, yes. We'll probably find another store in this sector. But I'm gonna definitely upgrade my ship a bit. I could get my shields to level 3. I think I'd rather save enough scrap so that I could make... so that I could buy hacking at the next store that we see. You want drones to be better. I don't know, seem fine. At what point would buying a crew be a consideration? Um, once I have all of my systems, I'll, I'll definitely be a lot more interested. Like, we're definitely low on crew, for sure. But, uh... I think we'll be alright. I'm not in the business of accepting surrenders. Sorry about that. Sorry, not sorry. So we can just take out his oxygen here and we'll get the crew kill like that. Could keep a pet fire if we wanted. Sometimes I really want to have a three combat drone recovery arm run. Yeah. I wish that there was an easier way of dealing with anti-combat drones than having the defense drone scrambler, defense scrambler, whatever the fuck it's called. So we're just gonna let this happen. Like, we're gonna keep letting this fight kind of drag on. I could end up taking some damage from this, but I think I'm gonna just take the risk to get the crew kill and uh, continue to train my weapons and try and train my evasion. It's also important here. If something goes wrong, like really bad, then do some different things. Nice dodges. Okay. There, oops. I actually did not mean to do that because that might have burned down his, uh... That, like, if I would have started a fire there, it's possible that it could have burned down his stuff, but it didn't, it didn't end up mattering, but... Best first upgrade on the Stealth B, level 3 cloaking. Level 3 cloaking is the first upgrade that you should make. So the reason that level 3 cloaking is more important is just, like, 
when you when you cloak for 15 seconds, that means that uncloak time with a guy manning this setup, you only have to wait seven and a half seconds of uncloak time to actually fire your glaive beam, which is really like if if the enemy can't shoot at you, that's what matters, not like the actual evade. Like you don't need to evade when the enemy can't shoot at you, right? And you shouldn't even get level five engines with that. With that shit, or whatever the engines are, like, I wouldn't even ever bother upgrading them. Uh, I would, it, like, my second upgrade, if I really just had 50 scrap to burn, then I, then I would upgrade the weapons, not, not the engines. Yeah, no problem, Jelzak. I don't really want to dive on the exit, necessarily. But I probably will, anyway. I, I think it's fine. Like, I can get a lot of extra jumps out of the sector by doing it, so... Another store, okay. Let's just go right to the store and see what they have. Oh my god, a burst laser too. Okay. Well, we found our weapon setup. Flak Burst 2, dual lasers, heavy laser. That will definitely be amazing for the whole run. So, uh, so the whole beam. I guess I can just sell the breach. I don't really need it. Right. I'm not gonna use it. I could use it to get crew kills though, so I guess maybe I'll just use it for now. I have 26 bombs. Extraction buoys, reverse ion field, backup DNA bank. Uh, I, don't know. I could buy the rock. I think the rock seems okay. I definitely still need hacking. I think the rock gives me more blue options, which is good. Of course. And also I kind of want another crew on the ship anyway. Okay, let's purchase the rock. Cynical potato. Get on in shields there, bud. Yeah. Alright. I think we're good. This weapon setup should be crushing it for quite some time. I'll probably just upgrade my weapons by one point. Should probably get my shields to level three first, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Probably should turn Steven on. I'm gonna decide. If it's a one damage missile, I might just take it. We have seven drones, but we are gonna be needing them for hacking. This is the one damage missile, but I think I'm just gonna take it. It's gonna hit my fucking shields. That means I'm gonna take two more damage from this. Just kidding. T heat.
online the shield shooting idea, just fucking kill them. Jesus Christ. No, I can't evade that, because I don't have piloting. These guys are causing me all kinds of problems. He's finally out of missiles. does it. That does it. Listen, I got 23. I'm getting this crew kill, Rebels. This is, this is happening, whether you want it or not. This is absolutely happening. And I can train my evasion here, too, so it's worth taking the time. Kill. It's good. <sighs> Are we doing here? Maybe I should have waited on getting their med bay down, but then they keep working on the other stuff. It's just going to cost me more drones. Good evasions, though. Good, good, good. Five left on you to evade. I think I'm probably just not gonna bother diving. Unless this is like a good beacon. Which it could be. Don't know. might have a system repair drone. I don't know yet. Nope. No system repair drone. Good job, Steven. You're barely doing it, but you're doing it. Man. Your 
causing me all kinds of an annoyances there, bud. Oh my god. Good job, Steven! Let's go, Steven! Let's go! Let's go, Steven! Let's go! Let's go, Steven! Let's go! A little bit, a little bit excessive there. No, that's a pretty terrible offer. Good dodge, though. Why do you guys have so much evasion? Who said this was okay? Not me. Way to go, Breach Bomb! Way to go, Breach Bomb! Nice. That is a crew kill. We'll just let this thing keep firing at me. Since the ship can't deal me damage, and I can keep training my shields, train my evasion. One evasion for you, four for you. Cool. Very nice. Breach Bomb solves all problems. All crew kill problems, anyway. Not even a breach, too. Yeah, there's no nothing detected on those beacons. I mean, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be diving here. We're just going to take this one. We'll go looking for the rebel ship here. If it doubles the fleet, we don't care. We're already on the exit. And we didn't even double the fleet, so that's nice. Two chain lasers. Tell you what, I'll let you in there. Steven offline. I need to stop you from destroying the system before doing what you're trying to do there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Steven. Okay. Escape, what? Uh... Five fuels a lot. Five missiles is fine, too. This is that's a pretty decent surrender offer. Why are you running at dual laser instead of burst laser too? Because it works better with my current weapon setup and it doesn't require two power. That's pretty good. I think I'm gonna take that. These guys know how to bargain for their lives. bad. Getting there, getting there. Cool. Woo! Rebel Stronghold. Let's -a go. Very nice. Cool. Let's find the mini flagship. Ba -ba 
Did you fix your weird stream problem, Slardar? A star, you say? Yes. Yes. Yes, I do say. Can we get some cool stuff? Oh my god, a heavy laser too? Forgot about the power. Right. Yep. That's definitely a thing. Hacking! That looks great. Let's take a look at our surrounding beacons too. That could even be the mini flagship right there. Did, then went to grab bike. Cool! Sub goal should uh, never showing mercy ever. Ever again. We already very rarely show mercy, okay? <laughs> There has to be a lot of paperwork put in in order for Mercy to be shown, but every once in a while, it happens. Rip iron price emotes. Free weapon, nice. It's, it's an ion blast, which isn't exciting, but it's still free nevertheless, so that's cool. I know that background anywhere. That background is only used in the free weapon events. I saved my drone. Has to be a dead beacon, correct. The mini flagship has to be on a dead beacon, that's why I prioritized it over the ship detected beacon. Okay. Good evasions, nice. I only have five uh, drones, and, I ha and I'm using defense drone and an offensive, or and, and hacking, so... I need to be a little bit careful with how I spend my drone resources. A little bit picky. Okay, that could be it right there, too. Let's go. We should be able to find it. Oh, I haven't seen that beacon, but I think I can make it to that one, too. Without actually checking. Nope, that's not it. Graffin the NG. Okie dokie. Thank you, Bob, Cynical, Samwise. There you go. Okay, that is an Ion Pulse. Not excited about that, but we have to take it. I want to upgrade my weapons, but... Can't do it quite yet. I'm going to hack their evasion here. Scrap does the not so flagship drop. It's the best event in the game. 
it drops high value. So the way that like rewards scrap wise are classified in FTL is like low, medium, and high. So it gives in in like the those have like a range of scrap that you can get that uh, is determined based on like your difficulty, but also like mostly what sector you're in, right? So it so we get high. So it's a high value scrap reward. Five of each resource, fuel, drones, and missiles. And then you get a f guaranteed free weapon, and it delays the fleet by two jumps. So it's absurdly good. Don't do it! Ah, you son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Gonna wait. No reason to rush here. It's a ridiculous amount of reward. Yep. It is a very, very, very good reward. Okay, that could be it right there, too. Let's go mini flagship, please. Yeah, nice. You arrive at the beacon to find yourself in a huge rebel shipyard, scaffolding and construction drones filling the sector. The entire system looks devoted to ship construction. The nearby planets and moons ruthlessly mine to harvest resources for a ship of immense size. This is my favorite event of the game, by the way. Look around. Warning lights flash as scans identify the gigantic ship under construction. It's a second rebel flagship. This must be the secret shipyards where the first one was built, and you've accidentally stumbled across it. Even in its weakened state, the rebel ship powers up. Get ready, you've got a hell of a fight on your hands. Good save. I shouldn't have pulled him away from that. It was an accident. It wasn't, it wasn't an accident. It was a mistake. Getting a crew kill here doesn't increase the amount of rewards that we get. So I'm just gonna kill them. I like getting a crew kill on that, of course. Because I always like getting crew kills, but we're not gonna take the time to do it here. Nice. So 43 scrap, 5 of each resource, small bomb, fleet delayed by 2 jumps. Excellent. And then we get some dialogue about the Federation cruiser here. As you are leaving, you detect an interesting Federation ship signal. Apparently, the Rebels were reverse engineering advanced weaponry on a prototype Federation cruiser. You don't know how they captured the ship intact, but you program its FTL drive to return the ship to the nearest Federation base. You just hope it gets there unharmed. Very nice rewards indeed. Bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. Thank you, science. Okay. Got, getting those five drones is pretty huge. Okay, they have at least level two cloaking. Well, actually, I think they have level three cloaking. Yeah, 100% level three cloaking. This normally fires at nine. This is going to be like... This is actually going to be a bad firing timing for us because it's going to uncloak at 15 seconds and fire this. This must be an ion bomb. That's yeah, gotta be an ion bomb. So like, if that hits, I might take damage. No, I think I'm gonna hack, because this could be a little bit annoying. Bum, 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 bum. 
Scrap 21 and Ion Intruder Drone. Nice. That sells for a lot, so we're happy. I love how the sub goal image makes it look like Kiki is sitting on your lap while you play. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you like it. I'm gonna go here first and here, and then we're gonna loop back up around. I could get my shields to level three. Did we see a store in this sector? Yes, we did. We saw a store. I think it's possible for us to see another store though, so I guess I could save my money. But then again, I have I have things to sell. So Yeah, lots of things to sell. Let's definitely upgrade my shields. Level three. And I have two events to gain scrap at least. Okay, I'm very happy that I upgraded my shields to level three. <laughs> <laughs> Very excited about this. It's definitely a little bit of a rough fight regardless, but so 10, 9, 9 or 10, and then the combat 2. We're gonna focus on his weapons on this first volley. So I'm gonna turn my breach off. I'm not gonna use it for a little while, so I can get a little bit more evasion. And because I've been hitting the shields and like they're not gonna read this, this third level isn't going to regenerate in time. I'm gonna pull it down to give me more evasion to try and dodge that. I can shoot this out now. Turn all those weapons off. Like I could have turned Steven on. I guess I didn't really think to do that, but. Evasion ho. Nice. Like, we just dodged like everything, so that's great. It's great news. Awesome. I could train my uh, shields here for sure. We're probably gonna do that. Oh, he's trying to run away. Oh, shit. Well, that's stupid. What a jerk. Look, he doesn't even want to be in his piloting. <laughs> Come on, man. Let him out of there. Yeah, all, I think all of the slug ships don't start with sensors. The NGB also doesn't start with sensors, though. That one's kind of rough to not have sensors sometimes, but... Slugs are way better than sensors anyway, I agree. Nice hit right when he was going imminent too. System repair drone or not? Maybe it does. It just it hasn't been doing very much though. Turn off that turn off that laser and we're less like much less likely to take damage. This is pretty much the fastest way that you can train uh, your shields or evasion for that matter. It's a combat true combat two, as long as you have the shields. So pretty cool. Thank you. 
The guy is out of there. I must have started a fire in there. Plus, if I really wanted to make sure I trained it as much as possible, I could turn off my actual evasion. So we know that every single shot trains us. Nice. Very good. Could be a store here. Still gonna buy a bar of power, though. Forward scout of the rebel fleets. You guys suck. And you have a defense drone too? That's fucked up, man. And a combat drone. And hacking. I think these guys are cheating, chat. Now that medbay hack would have actually been totally fine. Stop hacking me. Good. Hey, having to use two drones on one fight is definitely not great. Okay. Lots of shield training still. So that's good. in there. No Colombe for you, you dingus. You dongus. Hurricane with a 21 month Hey, Billy. Hi, Hurricane. Can we get some Wasman hearts? Thank Hurricane for the two freaking years of being a friggin' mouse. Thanks a bunch for the support. I really appreciate it. I don't know if I... I don't think I'm getting this crew kill. I could just spend a lot of bombs to do it. Which is fine, but I also might end up just not getting it. I just don't know what how much health they have, you know. I'm not gonna worry about it. Just murder them. Hey, no store in this sector. Seriously, thank you so very much, Hurry Gain, for the support. I really do appreciate it. I'll get you some wasp hearts in there too. Hope you're having a great Friday. get I mean I'm still getting stuff out of the sector but I'm not gonna have to dive but there's not really any way for me to do anything other than take these three beacons here I don't think could get another bar of power I should probably get another bar of power okay aid of the Federation ship crap going on there. That's good. Mm. Eh. They have a lot of health. I'm just gonna kill them. Like their crew hull, I mean. 
Headed home. See everyone for the mixed drink hour. GL, GL, GL. Thanks, Samwise. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked for the uh, mixed drink one. Let's quickly try and rescue the crew. Hey, we actually got a mantis. Despite your efforts, the majority do not survive. The sole survivor offers to join your crew and helps to strip the now derelict ship of its useful components. Nice. What's up, Maloney? Baloney. Science gets the name. Because Buttsbot cannot get it. Close, Slardar. Shoot something. Uh, came up. Did you kill the mini flagship? We did, indeed. We wouldn't be here if we didn't. We'd certainly never leave that ship. Unless we had, like, five hull remaining or something. What's up, Anarcher? Nice. Guaranteed a random augment here. Hopefully we get, like, ideally, what I really want, auto-reloader. That's what I want from this event. But for the memes, fire suppression. Oh, it's all good. Send the rock crew in. You find the source of the distress call. This is my one of my favorite events in the game. Uh, you find the source of the distress call, a small research station. It appears a small laboratory fire got out of control and is threatening to destroy the station. Their fire suppression system is not responding. Send in your rock crew. Your rock soldier tears through the airlock directly into the fire. You've never seen someone that large move that fast. It disperses as much fire suppressant as possible into the heart of the blaze, and eventually the fires start to die down. Contact! FTL jammer. Okay. But 44 scrap, though. That's exciting. The FTL jammer sells, so... There's never an event on the exit here. Bum, 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 bum. Mantis Homeworlds? Boy, howdy. Uh, we don't got no teleporter. We're not going to be able to do that quest. If I take the slug control, then I get a civilian option, at least, for my Sector 8. Which, uh, for Sector 7, rather, which would be nice. Uh, slug control Nebula is like... Not super ideal for us. Never is, but we already had one. Why not take two, right? Let's take another one. I definitely really like Mantis Homeworlds. They're really great. I like Mantis sectors in general. They're pretty solid sectors for making the money. But we do get an early store here. Very nice. Cool. All right. They got the mind control. That is gonna be my last system, and we're gonna we're gonna get rid of FTL Jama. I could keep the FTL Jammer. We're gonna get the burst laser online as well. But we'll see how much scrap I have left over after we do all this crap. After we buy mind control. Yep. get this weapon online and then we sell this extra stuff that we don't need like the breach is great has been great is great but it's time for it to go so we have a hundred scrap so we're gonna buy the backup battery and two bars of power yeah okay Could definitely sell it to get like an extra repair or two. How's the run going? Really, really good. Run is going absolutely fantastic. We have an extremely strong weapon setup. I do hate it when enemy ships run away though. It's a huge pet peeve of mine. And slug ships, sometimes they try and run away. All right, I'll keep the FTL jammer for now. I spy a very good weapon setup, yes. Quite the keen observation, Shadow. Getting my hacking level 2 isn't super high priority. Attack the ship. Gonna fight that guy for me. Thank you. All right. I like how that slug just insta-died. That was my favorite part of that, that interaction. 
Hey! Hey, hey, that's my pilot seat, you son of a bitch! Only have to catch one ship for the jammer to pay for itself. Yeah, that's pretty true. I should have not. Eh. I don't think I'm going to take the time to get this screw kill. It's too it's too tempting to just fire this weapon setup constantly. <laughs> it's too strong. Weapon setup too good. Please nerf. Hacking level two would be okay. Piloting level two would be fine too. I'm not going to be hacking shields ever, so like the level 2 hacking is mostly just so that way it doesn't get disabled easily. So... I can get mind control level 2 for like some random blue options. Not super useful in a slug controlled sector though. power out of the oxygen. Eleven, twelve, twenty, and either nine or ten. I got Steven online here. Increase my evasion, please. Steven, no. Ooh! Oh my god, it was almost a double shot. I should probably get a value point in my defense drones. If I would have fired my flak and dual laser earlier, then I could have actually squeezed that shot in there, but I didn't. my fault. Something like that, I guess. I don't know. Welcome back, Shadow. You, you were just back. Did you leave and then came back again? I guess I could have got a level 2 med bay for this particular event, but I think we'll be okay. You can actually just counteract it, but it doesn't really matter. It's pretty easy to micro around. Thank <laughs> you. 
Nice. Very good. Yeah, look at look at all those. Look at all those slugs. They're freaking out. That's great. I love it. Very good. Went out for a second to get your laptop. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we'll let it slide this time. I'm not going to dock your pay, Shadow, but uh, just know that you're getting uh, you're getting a write-up. Okay. Dance, slugs. Dance. Dance. Anybody want to dance? Um, not really anything that I need. So I'm just going to start spending my money. Okay. Because we have a defense drone and not cloaking, that does mean that getting a higher level of engines is a bit of a priority because we can't uh, dodge lasers, as was pointed out before. I can stay there. We rock the flagship, Junior. Yes, we did. Did I not heal my crew after that previous fight? I feel like I didn't. Just to murder them, thank you. Maybe I did. <clears throat> yeah, I must have, actually. You've never seen the uh, mini flagship event? Oh yeah, it's a, it's a great one. That's how you unlock the Federation cruiser. I didn't already say that. Hmm. Well, the only thing I'm looking for from the store is an auto reloader. That's basically it. I don't. I wouldn't even bother with another flak. I don't think. Maybe I'd replace the burst laser with a flak. I guess. So it makes our weapon setup fire two seconds faster overall. This means that I can't target down systems as easily, but these two can still do fine. Yeah. Yeah, flak, I guess, then. Could take it over it. I hate how the defense manages to miss or not shoot any missiles at all in the Mantis B. Yeah, it's uh, it's not super great on that ship, unfortunately. Auto reloader would be much better than, than getting a weapon replacement, which I don't really need anyway. All right, well, we'll be on our way. Weapons up. 13 and 17 seconds on these firing terms. I want to get the NG dead and then getting the crew kill is super easy after that, so let's do that. Wait for him to die, and then we'll start doing damage to other systems. Wow, these guys have got some evasion. Gotta give them props. We on pace for a second run today? Not sure. The thing is, oh, they had level three oxygen. Wow, they really invested. They invested in their future. Their disgusting oxygenless future. As soon as he gets in there, he's gonna move there too. So they're just gonna keep fighting. It's great. Ad bits are being removed. You mean like the getting free bits? Uh, they, they've been like turning that down more and more and more. So I'm not too surprised. Amazon's probably got all of the information that they need. Do you have time set for drink stream? Well, um, 
We're, me and Kuro are gonna make dinner and eat said dinner before we start the before we do the drink stream. Three bits for ads doesn't even matter because it doesn't even work outside the USA. Wow, thanks for saying that we don't matter, Shadow. Thanks. You ain't ever my feelings. So me. Where are you from, Billy? Michigan. <laughs> Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> Just want to do a little bit of damage there. Just a little bit. Just a tiny, teensy bit. You know, do a little bit of da damage there. Are you going to repair that to the death? Please do it. Oh, he did it. Oh, he did it. Any tips for the NGC? It's one of my last ships that I need a hard mode victory on. Um... So that ship starts with hacking and a beam drone and no weapons. Is that correct? I believe that's correct. Anyway. Toronto here. Wow, we're really close. Just a swim away from each other. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so for the times, do we have a set time for the drink stream? So like, we're gonna eat dinner, and then I'm gonna like, uh, I'm gonna start setting it up while uh, while Crow's making dinner, and then like after we're done with dinner, then we're gonna do the drink, the mixed drink stream. So like, I don't know exactly how those are gonna line up. So it's probably gonna be like seven to eight, maybe eight. I don't know. For sure, I could say I could I could say like nine, because that because that but that would be, but that might be way too late. So like I might be able to do early, earlier. So I'd probably say between seven and eight if I had to guess. So uh, I but I want to be kind of done with the stream by like six thirty. You know what I mean? So. No shields, but you get the NG Super Shield. Wait, what? You're talking about the, the Stealth C. Not the NG C. Our ship is indeed free from humanitis. Yeah, keep an eye on the Discord. Yeah, that's where I'll, I'll post it there for sure. The NG C starts with shields. If I take three nebula jumps, and our beacon's gonna be about there, then I can take two jumps after that, and then go here and then dive. That sounds good to me. Zoltan Sea. Oh, the Zoltan Sea. Sure. I'm uh, remembering wrong. The one where the energy upgrade costs more because you're almost completely farming. Yeah, Zoltan Sea. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so, right. Zoltan C. So what I would recommend with the Zoltan C is use your pilot to pre-move your drone next, like, so that it's almost ready to fire. Like, it's just, like, a second away from firing. And then move your pilot back into piloting. After, so turn the drone off and then move him back into piloting and then that way you can like have it ready and you use the backup battery kind of at the last second you need to probably keep the pilot in the piloting if they're at, if the enemy's weapon setup is really nasty because 
obviously it's kind of a problem if your zone shields go down and you haven't destroyed their ship or you're not close to destroying their ship but but yeah you can't really count on the beam drone to be like super duper um great at targeting systems that you want it to target because you can't choose what it targets right so yeah kind of a pain in the butt for sure Squeeze this in. Nice. I like this old Z okay. It's not a very fun ship for me. I don't really enjoy it very much, but it's alright. Get him and did him. Take that, you drone bastard. Double Stevens? What could it mean? I love the Zoltan A. Zoltan A and B are good. The Zoltan A is definitely one of my favorite. It's my favorite speedrun ship. For sure. I have a fire in here. Ooh, fancy pet fire. Let's go. All right, cool. That's where sensors go, by the way, if I put sensors there. What's the point of keep keeping a pet fire? It's adorable. He's a little super cute. Super cute little pet fire. He wants to escape, chat. So we go one, two. Dive. It's not even a dive. Whatever. Actually, it is a dive. Or is it? I don't know. It might be a dive. It might not be. It doesn't matter. A weapon setup is very formidable science. Yes, I agree. Engage. Charge your weapons and slugs immediately back down. God damn it. Look at you. Deployed a second Steven. I guess so. Nice. The fire is actually going to go out eventually, unfortunately. Very sad. 
I'll be sad to see it go. Oh, the fire's actually spread quite a bit. <laughs> maybe maybe I should vent that out. It's, it's gonna spread into my drones in an inopportune time, which could be a pretty big problem. Alright. It doesn't matter. Fires can get through any level of doors, eventually. Maybe if you have level 3 manned, then it can't get through it. But, like... Or maybe it... I've seen it go through level 2, and I'm quite certain it can go through level 3. It just takes a while. Um, like, a very long time. Unless it's just, like, our, like randomly just got there. But yeah, I can spread through doors. Alright. Contact you on emergency frequencies. Please, we'll give you all we have if you save us. So we're going to tag the Mantis, and then we're just going to destroy the Slug. Afterwards, because they're probably not going to give me a very good reward. Okay, 44 scrap. You see... You see, they begin. We are most grateful, but that is... We do not currently have the liquid athletes to reward you at this time. Okay, we're gonna f kill you then. Nice, 53 scrap. Jesus, look at all this stockpiled scrap we have, chat. Does getting a crew kill on the first ship matter for this event? I have no idea. I just wanted to get the crew kill. I just wanted them to have a horrible time. Is there some way you could crew kill and destroy it in the same time and get double rewards? No. There used to be a bug, an exploit, I guess is probably a better word for it. That, uh, that you could get double rewards from a ship that blew up afterwards, but... Mantis. That'd be kind of nice. I know these guys are holding on to a, a single fuel, so we're gonna make darn sure to get it. whatsoever. Mantises are always nice, I say. I'm not partial, partial or anything. No, definitely not. What do we got? Zoltan Homeworlds. Oh my god. It's... It's not guaranteed that we can get the Peace Envoy event completed here, but it is possible, so let's go for it. Let's-a-go!
Yeah, let's do it. This better, I hope this is the peace on. If we get the peace envoy on our very first jump, then we'll definitely be able to complete it. But if we get it like midway through the sector, then we probably don't get it. Okay, it's not it. Maybe we can still get it. Super ship fight. Huh? I'm gonna hack their weapons, actually. <laughs> yeah, just kind of poop on those. Damn, that Rockman had a bad fucking day. That is a rough day for a Rockman to get shot down from full health. Crazy. That was a little bit excessive there. Have probably saved the mind control here. By all means, go ahead. Get into the room that has no oxygen while your oxygen is offline. Definitely recommend it. He switched doors. Oh my god. You guys are... You guys are having a rough day of it, yeah? Yikes. Run's going very good, McKean. Very, very strong. We have an extremely good weapon set up. Did I just lose his progress on the oxygen? I don't know. If there was a, if the other guy was in the room, he might have maintained his progress. We'll see. Uh, he might have lost it. He panicked. Yep. Oh, he got that. Ooh! His ship even resisted it. Glad to see the streak is still going, despite me being around for a lot of it. My general luck being so bad, it typically overflows and kills everything around it. Wow. It's pretty rough luck, Brian. Fortunately, I'm not very superstitious, so... Butt spots, yeah, butt spots working overtime. Man, oh man. Can I get the peace envoy, please? Please? Damn it. We're not going to get the peace envoy. I'm very sad. Damn it. <laughs> so so the reason that I can't I mean I could find the peace envoy but I'm not going to be able to complete the quest at this point it would be very unlikely I think anyway the reason I say that is like if I find the event at this point it's just going to say that I can't complete it because we're in sector 7 and it won't put the second part of the, of the event in sector 8 you know what I mean so that that's why. It's like I can find the first part of it, but it's not really gonna do me any good, sadly.
Okay. Shield charge booster is actually pretty good. Especially because we're not doing the whole... Uh, get like a couple repairs here. Especially because we're not doing the whole cloak thing. Oh yeah, I have two Stevens. I don't need two Stevens. Here you go. You can have a Steven. I could, I could technically use it, but... Eh. I'm not going to take the other store. It's because the only thing that I'm looking for is like an auto-reloader or maybe a flak. sell long-range scanners at this point, but I think we'll be alright. Sorry, why is the Peace Envoy so good? I just wikied the rewards. Zoltan shields are extremely powerful in Slardar. The Zoltan Peace Envoy themselves is actually pretty fine, too. They're mastered in every single skill, which is cool, but you either get the Zoltan that's mastered in every skill, or you get Zoltan shields, and Zoltan shields are extremely strong. most powerful augment in the game so that would be why Trying to escape. What? No, you're not allowed to escape. Just die. You know we're in Sector 7, right? Right, wanna take 22 scrap? Fuck no. Get out of here with that crap. Six dive. Sounds good to me. Sultan shields are extremely strong versus the flagship. Versus the first phase of the flagship, it can be a little bit annoying, but that's. That's where that ends. Might hold the burst laser too. Just get our hits here. Okay. Wow! Wow! That line, that that weapon timing lines up pretty good there. So that's why we hacked his weapons immediately, because like I could just take like 12 fucking damage from that thing randomly. Yeah, no, like they're they're really good versus the flagship. So. All right. Uh. Murderize that one. Cool. 
that will do it. What's shaking? Bacon is what is shaking, Clutch. Bacon is definitely shaking. I'm just gonna stockpile my scrap. means okay whoops Thought those were their weapons. So definitely not their weapons. You're gonna dive multiple times? Nope. We're diving one time. Come on back here. Let's go ahead and murder these dudes. We'll take out their clone bay. Damn it. Would you just die, NG? Come on, man. Don't don't repair it. Don't you do it. You better not. You bet Did FTL just actually crash? Uh, okay. Yep, I don't have any FTL. Uh-oh. Well, we'll see where we're at. Okay, we're at the beginning of the fight. I've never had FTL crash before. Uh, now this fight's going all different and shit. God damn it. Attacking level 4 just crashes your game. Yeah. Yeah, I've never had the game crash for me before, ever. Well, I mean, I guess it happens. And what probably it does, it's once you hit 2,588 hours, then it just crashes. Could have been worse. Yeah, could have been a corrupt file or some bullshit like that. Seeing you... Yeah, well, yeah, blue screen of death more times than FTL has crashed. Yeah, for sure. All right, well... Whatever. Shoot the clone bay this time. Nope. That's a lot of damage. Here, we'll fight each other. Oh god, that guy had no health. Okay. That's fine. All aboard! Get the battle engines in here. No! What are you doing? <laughs> I wanted those two to fight each other. Now I can't get this crew kill. Man. Stupid fucking game crashing. We had the crew kill on the other one. Oh. 
<sighs> Whatever. Ion Blast Mark III, or Mark II, rather, and then a basic laser. Huh. All right, whatever. Take that, Defense Drone Two. Wow, that is a lot of hits in a row that just happened there. Wow. That just happened. Well, we dodged that one. We got hit five times in a row from that ion. Is that enemy ship have four drones? Oh yeah, the enemy cheats all the time. There it goes. Three, four, five, six, seven. It's only seven power, but it is four drones. The drone inning has begun. Must have had a decent amount of evasion. All right, this is a pretty great sector. Like we're getting so many jumps in it. Anti-combat is one, yes, yep. Promise to help, I got an NG for that. Well, this is, this is good, definitely, this has got to be the peace envoy here, right? This has got to be the peace envoy, right there. Is it? <laughs> An unarmed Zoltan transport vessel is slowly making its way towards the beacon here. Attack them! Quickly, attack them. Just as you're preparing to attack, you detect a nearby jump signature. Zoltan defense ship comes to their aid. Peace? What the hell are they talking about? What, they want a piece of this? Oh, they're gonna get a piece of this, let me tell you. Let me tell you. I've accidentally selected this event before. Nice. Alright. We don't- you don't normally get a free weapon. That was just happenstance. This is- this is not Sector 3. I guess we'll spend we'll spend a little bit. Just a little bit. Three times scrap recovery arm? No. Just a lot of scrap. First laser is kind of like peace, yes. Basically the same thing. Not even a teleporter. What on earth could we possibly use a teleporter for? Ooh, it took damage. Fifty three scrap already. And what did it did it dive in? Bam, beep, 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 beep. That wasn't a crew kill. Well, it's a crew kill and then all of their crew are dead now. 
that definitely happened. Shit. I could have jumped away before that hit me. I was I didn't realize it was firing at me. God damn it. That scared the crap out of me. I had no idea <laughs> it was flying at me. I didn't hear the whoosh. I know I know it happened. I, I I heard it, but it was like way too late. Whatever. I want this fuel. I know they got fuel over there. You can't fool me. I know they got one fuel. All right, fine. I guess I'll jump away. To the last stand. You arrive at an outpost close to the Federation base. Your access codes get you past initial security and an officer sets up a direct feed to the Federation base's war room. Admiral Tully speaks first saying, what the hell is the meaning of this? Who are you? Get the hell out of the, uh, come on. What are you doing here? What the what the how where did you get all that scrap? How did you upgrade this? This guy's cheating. Come on. Explain your mission. But yeah, it's a very powerful run, Bezo, for sure. Hope you're having a good Friday so far. Is this on pace for a second run? It's not really because I have to go early because we're doing a second stream tonight, right? So Explain your mission. Your explanation is met with a murmurs of, with murmurs of cynicism and disbelief amongst the officers. General Terza let the end brigade speaks up. Like, oh my god, you guys, Intel suggests potential counter to rebel technology. We're scholars save none. I'm just, you guys didn't even know that. I knew about it like two weeks ago. Becky was telling me about it. She was like sleeping around with some rebels and figured out that there's a giant flagship. Do you have any idea how many rebels Becky had to sleep with to figure out that there's a giant flagship? And we have to blow it up or we're all dead. Like, a million rebels. Like, literally every single rebel. There's a million of them. You don't even know. Okay. Explain the weakness. Tell the response. It's settled. It's settled. The rebels will be in a matter of moments. We'll do the can to hold off the warships. But you must succeed at destroying this flagship. Your current outpost could provide some PLs and fuel. And the other player station could provide aid as well. Good luck. Now get the hell out of here. <laughs> The three slotted informa information agents. <laughs> no, damn it. Slept with like a, literally a million of them. There's like a million. It took her like, like all day. Like literally all day. Like you don't even know. Like literally, you don't even know. You don't, you don't. You don't even know. Don't even. First jump in the last stand is a forced dive. That's great. That is great. It sounds awesome. I wish I could have done that. You don't even, Moku. You don't even. That's how a couple of Valley Girls saved the Republic. That's right. Repair ship store. I'm probably not going to go to the store. But it might have a flak. Yeah. But it doesn't really matter. Okay, well, maybe now I'll go to the store because my actual jump that I was going to go to got taken over. All right, fine, maybe. Ooh. Oh, my. That's really good. This is a guaranteed double reward in Sector 8. Beard with a two months of Twitch burn. 
Not sure how this is a streak, but good luck, Billy. It's because it counts it, like, no matter how long of a gap you had between your last sub and this one. Like, you can call it, like, whatever. It's just, like, months total stream. Like, not back-to-back -back anymore. Changed it. Okay, we get some Osmond Arts. Thanks a bunch, Beard. Appreciate the support. Don't leave the love lying around. Pick it up and take it with you, okay? Store might have a heavy, too. Yeah, it's just Still don't made is back to back oh is streak oh i didn't realize it was a oh it is a it's a one month streak it's not even a streak how how uh how one i see i understand now yes i got it what's up koopa how you doing today you guys want to battle each other to the death please that'd be great thank you Nice. 71 scrap, and this is a guaranteed double. Wow. All right. It's 112 scrap, no big deal. Casual 112, super cash. All right, I'm not going to go for the store. This is a lot of scrap, chat. This is a, a very large amount of scrap that we have this run. No, it did, It said two months total, one month streak. Right? Yeah, that's what it said. Yeah, you, you read it back. Yeah, yeah. Worried about my fuel situation. You're right. I mean, what I'm really concerned about is my missiles, but... We'll see how it goes. Shit's broke. Shit is clogged. Shield bypass only lets me mind control through result and shields, which isn't like very great. But this is probably more scrap than what I'm gonna get from the actual fucking thing. So, all right, sure. Why not? You guys know how to bargain for their lives, I suppose. And we got a drone part. Very important. I'm gonna take all of these jumps. I'm just gonna hack my hacking. I bet. Oh, hack my dudes. Hack my dudes there. Oh, 
Rip backup battery. Rip having literally all of the evasion in the world. super greedy. Let's take actually all of them. Oh, I forgot to repair my backup battery. Shit. Yeah, I forgot. My repair's gone. Fuck. How am I supposed to guarantee full hull? Shit game. Let's go kill this thing. Federation scum! We've waited a long time for this. Oh, okay. Tell you what. I'm gonna hack your weapons this time. Instead of using a defense drone. Sorry, I guess. Sorry. Just napping with Bernie. Aw. Sounds friggin' adorable. Sixty scrap. Okay. Value points galore. Going downtown with some friends. Go to the game store. Awesome. Have fun, Shadow. Alright, let's go battle a flagship. I'm gonna poop on his... I'm gonna hack his piloting. Poop on his shields. Oh, not my weapons. Steven, can you stop that? No? Okay. I was just curious, really, more than anything, whether or not you could stop it. I should have put Steven online and then watched that closer. Have paused earlier to stop that. Thank you. 
Okay, I let my control level two to so that way if I got the lower health guy, then we would have been better off there. Yeah, I wasn't gonna get the second volley off anyway, I guess. I should probably shoot his hacking or something. I really want to unfuck this up. Certainly not worth running away. Wow. Rip Steven. Steven? Steven? Steven! Steven, please! I need you in my life! Fine, whatever, Steven. I see how it is. I understand now. level one which is nice what how is this hack still going that should be a level one hack no oh my god steven you didn't have to take that one that was a little bit unnecessary i have to say Damn, what a pain in the butt. That hack was all weird, too, because I didn't even... So it's because it was, like, up with our cloaking or whatever. Yeah. You have an idea. What if you get closer and drop the 44 missiles onto the flagship? Well, that just wouldn't be fair. Can't, I can't be unfair to the flagship. That's just not nice. Okay, we have 33 scrap, but... But... Now, hear me out. We could have more scrap. So let's see what this... Uh, let's see what's on this beacon more than 33 scrap let's fight the rebel ship let's go get him steven get him steven oh no steven steven no Greedy gives full HP. We could get some some free rewards, but even more even better than that, we can actually find some sincere gratitude if we wanted. If we tried really hard. <laughs> Great job, Budspot. Absolutely phenomenal. Oh man, no sincere gratitude. So lame. What a bunch of lamos. That store is still there. That store is like just holding out against the fucking rebels. Holy crap. That's insanity.
I will sell this scrap recovery armor. Die trying, damn it. Yeah, no kidding. Full upgrade. Well, I mean, I'm missing a lot of scrap for the full, full upgrade, but yeah, everything else is upgraded. All right. Good luck. Have fun. Do good. Don't die. Kill all. Ally victory. No BS. Steven's dead. Nice. Well, more of their crew dead. All of them in the can. Oh no, Steven didn't die. That was another drone. Oh, I thought Steven died. I was nervous. store deal in sincere gratitude? I'm not sure. I doubt it. Okay. I can't kill those guys. Don't take any damage. Don't do it. So I have to deal with like four enemy crew or something like that. You had a firebomb, yeah. <clears throat> Can enemy ships hit their own drones? Uh, yes. No. No? Look at all these drones. Just dead. Let me just scoop those up. Yes. I don't- I don't know if they can. Show up at the store and they're all like, we show, we show our sincere gratitude for the work you're doing in this cause. Have a pre-igniter on the house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. We only accept uh, sincere gratitude at this store. Store policy. Store is finally being taken over. Rip. Oh my god, a sub call, some sort of super weapon. Sweet baby Jesus. Steven. Steven, you fucking up, Steven. You're shooting the wrong things down. Everything's horrible. We're basically dead. Okay, revent that out, I guess. All right, I'm not gonna hack level maximum here. We're just gonna increase my evasion. <laughs> Stupid missiles. Come on, man. Fuck you. No. 
Don't shoot me. Stop it. Hey, I got another pet fire. It's very nice. Alright. GG. Get in the med bay quick. Science, get in the med bay. You gotta get healed up. No, I didn't turn on the med bay. Rip. GG. Thanks for the valiant effort of 22. Shadow, Dr. Wilco, Ecky Bob, Cynical, Samwise, and Science. GG. What's the score, chat? Closest without going over. Price is right rules. What do we think the score was? We had maximum everything except for drone control. We had only level 4 drone control, even though we were only using 2 power. 22 and 0. Not bad. We had a lot of ship fights. Um, a lot of ship fights. A lot of beacons explored. Just a shitload of scrap. Has to be over 2,300 scrap, I'd guess, or thereabouts, anyway. It's gotta be over. Gotta be like 2,500. Might be a record for scrap. I think on this file we have like 2,600 scrap. Could be a record. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say. Good guy. I'm gonna say 6,000. Hmm. 6,000. <sighs> 6,444. Wow! 6927! Jesus Christ! Who's got 6969 over Marione? So close. So close. That was a very, very strong run. 69 66 67 anything higher than that without going over 67 52 there any 68s in there a rufus i think you might have gotten it No, 6666. Is that with Templar? Who, what did I say? No, no, 6752. Yeah, 6752. Rufus. I think, I think so. Is that number two on the top five? Uh, probably, yeah. Cool. Congratulations, Rufus. You have won our respect and admiration, but much more importantly, you have won our sincere gratitude, so... Very nice. Congratulations. Excellent. <clears throat> yeah, 69.20, that's what you meant? Yeah, of course. Try not to spend that sincere gratitude all in one place. Let's take a look at the stats. It's got to be over 2,500 scrap. Definitely like, I don't know, hundred more than 100 beacons explored. Probably like 60 ship fights, maybe? I'm going to guess 60 ship fights. Wow, not even. Most scrap collected record, 2,568. 107 beacons explored, 49 ship 